Hello everybody, welcome back to my playthrough of Mass Effect Andromeda. So, last episode, we... What exactly did I do last episode? I did a lot last recording session, because I recorded four episodes. So it's hard for me to remember what exactly happened in the, the last episode. But this episode, I'm going to be going and getting the things that I need for movie night. The last things that I need for movie night. First, let's join the Citizens Forum. Why are we even debating this rumor? Exactly. The idea that we were created in a laboratory. It's insane. Is it? Perhaps the Pathfinder can illuminate us. If the rumors are true, you saw it with your own eyes. Did a banished alien species of immense power genetically engineer us? And if so, why? I found a big room with a lot of weird stuff in it I didn't understand. That's all I've got. Your bluntness is matched only by your sincerity. <laughs> We've resolved nothing. Wrong. I'm resolved to stop talking about it. There are better uses of our time. Anyway, so now that that's invest in your personal protection, shield yourself. Now that that's out of the way, I wonder if this dude is still like I'm not selling to you. Welcome back. Or was it that guy? Maybe it wasn't that guy. Maybe it was this guy. He's still not selling. All right, anyway. What? I've never heard that noise while on here before. Is that a ship coming in? Probably. Most likely. Most likely it was. I just had to hang around long enough to start hearing it, I suppose. It's still a really cool piece of art there. Alright. Let us away to Katara. Oh wait. I just got these. Now I'm running them on a test run right now, wearing them to see if if they can keep my arms warm enough but, but still cool enough. For my wrists. This one specifically. Oh. Right. Wanted to exit. Subi wants to talk. What's up, Suv? The Nexus science team is completely blown away by what you found in the Remnant City. Back in the Milky Way, did it feel like this when you were out looking for Prothean artifacts? Are you kidding? This is way better. I wouldn't have said it, but I'm glad you did. No offense to the Protheans. You know, the discovery of the Angaran origins have made me think hard about creation. If the Jardan were capable of creating life, then what does that say about God? You're wondering if he could be just a scientist? What if our creator is just like the Jardan, advanced but mortal, fallible? Even in that scenario, a higher power could still exist. There could always be something greater, greater than us, greater than the Jardan. I had faith before, and I'll keep having faith. Because that's what faith is. Yes, Thank you, indeed. Writer. You always know how to make me feel better. You're welcome, Sue. Anytime. A letter of love and admiration. Oh, darling, dearest, temptress, amazing heart. I took you to the most beautiful place on our most beautiful planet. And it all paled when compared to you. Your hair, your skin are softer than I could have imagined. Your breath even sweeter. Oh, she's so sweet. 
can't I find a guy like that? Please don't think I'm blind to your other temptations, such as your intellect and work ethic. Before this moment, I'm dizzy with the memory of our perfect time together and the feel of your arms around me. I love you, Joel. I love it. Joel refuses to send me the answers to the questions below. He says that it's too embarrassing, so I am asking you myself. Do you have a favorite weapon that you find particularly effective against the cat? What was your home world like? Perhaps we can find ways to make you feel more comfortable, at, more at home here. Can you describe the human birth process to me? I'm interested for many obvious reasons. I'm never embarrassed. That's something you should know about me. <laughs> oh, I love it. Jaws mom is great. <laughs> Jaws is great. Uh, I need to find my real life doll. Someday. All in due time. God's timing, not my own. Turn to the Tempest. Hello. Hello. You Ben. There you go. AVP outstanding Pathfinder. Handle it. Handle what? Handle what? What are you talking about, man? <laughs> Your brain's rattled enough. Oh. Come on. One headbutt. We'll keep Lexi on standby. I'm not condoning any of this. 
Oh, Liam wants Drock to headbutt him. And how are you saying I have eight head ABP on standby? Oh, I see. Aw. At least that one was a success. Alright. Liam. Ruby. I got it. And snacks. Last of the Legion. This is what you wanted, right? Wait, you actually found it. That version's practically a myth. I'll tell everyone to grab food. Jarl and Gil said they can rig something up in your quarters. If you need a minute to clean up, no problem. Just hit the console when you're good to go. Alrighty. Let's go clean up and then... And then have us a movie night. Oh, button. You know, before, I'm going to go talk to Chal, because I'm, I'm pretty the... sure he's right. So were the Remnant intended to serve them? That's a great question. Too bad we don't have someone on the team who's an expert in solving Remnant mysteries. Yeah, Ryder ought to replace someone like that right away. <laughs> Gotta be something that y'all have for sure. Yeah, he's normal and familiar. And how can it be? Now that I know the truth about my people, how can anything feel ordinary again? Aww. Gotta say, you're handling this much better than I would. Same here. I'd get nosebleeds just thinking about it. Maybe part of our design included how to cope with the revelation. But I think it's simply who we are. Hello, Joel. Deus <laughs> I never imagined that I'd fall for an alien. You're the alien. No, <laughs> you are. No, you are. I want to devour you. In the best way. Oh. I'll see you later, John. Stay strong, darling one. Aww. Aww. door. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get the get I had the door I know you left the Legion. I never left the Legion. It left me. But I know my duty. All right, folks, we can sit through a training montage with what many critics describe as excessive Turian flexing. No such thing. There really is. Or mm -hmm. we could fast forward to a ship crashing into an asteroid crashing into a moon. Fast forward to the crash. Ah, montage. Don't cut bits out. I'd go for the crash. Forwarding to the action scene, going once, going twice. Skip to the good stuff, Liam. Boo. But I didn't get an option to say no. But it's a vacuum. The ship explosion would be silent. I hope that's not the voice of experience talking. Guess they wanted their money's worth. They actually blew up a derelict for that shot. Too bad the script wasn't caught in the blast. My strike team will hit the enemy cruiser, General. Force is the only thing fanatics understand. Why a strike team? Torpedo the cruiser! That's overkill. 
Get one engineer aboard, cut life support and engines, problem solved. And leave them stuck on a hostile ship? One torpedo, over by lunch. I think a charm offensive might be more rewarding. <laughs> I just wanted to know. Classic irresistible what hero. It Pretend to be captured. Meet up armor, enticing scars, and soulful eyes. Yeah, yeah. The old dinner and drinks to show off my villainy. They get cozy. And then strike. Or not. <laughs> Why spoil the evening? Speaking of, time for another round. Anyone for a Baron's Jaw? Or are euphemistically delicious? Wait, lesson. Rattles. Rattles. No! Ugh, he was a sidekick. They die like goldfish. No acting like overacting. Even Ryder could do better. If I wanted to. I want to know what happens when you do this seriously. Oh, yes, please. Come on, show us. I'll be dead for you. <laughs> okay. I've seen the humor. I want to know, take it serious, what it looks like. Kahlo. Kahlo, please, not now. Not when we're so close. Ryder. You must go. It won't end this way. There's no justice in this galaxy. But there will be. More shy in her eyes, though. Me next. Matter of opinion. I'm not dishing it. <laughs> I swear to love you a thousand times, a thousand stars. Oh, Jorax, so many years lost. We were so foolish. Our hearts are one. No enemy fleet, no sea of stars can ever separate us again. I love it. I love it. Oh, I get it. You get another thing. Cat, uh, you really need a bigger cage, my man. A bigger cute little cage. More stuff to do. More attention. The crew's morale was boosted by movie night, so I thought we could make it a regular thing. I've got vids of some great extranet series, including Blue's Anatomy. Great drama, but enough action to keep Liam happy. Also, dreamy Turians with fringe that can't be natural. Anyway, just a thought. <laughs> Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Good talking to you. Ah, uh, you would say something about Anytime. movie night. Open. You are just open. Open says me. Come on, door. Why are you shut? There we go. I always have time for you. I'll see you later, Joel. 
Stay strong, darling one. Alright. I, I, I'm going to assume no one else. No one has anything to say about movie night. Well, Liam might. Since it was, you know, Liam's idea to begin with. New to Chanka. I bet Tan puckers every time someone says it. <laughs> we'll talk later. I know it. We were talking over here though, man. Bruce Peely. All right. Let us away. Sufi, did you ever meet Jen Garson? I shook her hand once at a fundraiser and then blurted something about wanting to look under her dress. You did it. <gasps> I wanted to see how it worked. Prototype smart textile, changing colors in response to sound. And there was also a lot of champagne. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. All right, so it looks like it looks like next up is continuing the way home. But for now, I'm going to call this an episode and I will pick this up in the next one. In the meantime though, thank you guys all so much for watching. Like and subscribe down below if you want to see more. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, keep it real, spread the love, and stay determined. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.